Hello, my name is Neil Baum. I'm a urologist in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to talk with you about the use of testosterone in women. In this brief video, I'm going to discuss the role of testosterone in women. I will describe to you what testosterone does when it is given to women. I will give you the options on how to receive hormone replacement therapy using testosterone. And I will discuss the side effects associated with testosterone in women. Testosterone is known as the male hormone, just as the female hormone is known as estrogen. However, in women, they also make small amounts of testosterone, both at the level of the ovary and the adrenal gland, which is a small gland located on the top of the kidney. Most women have the peak of their testosterone level in their 20s. By age 40, it decreases to about 50%. So what does testosterone do? Testosterone is linked to a woman's sex drive or her libido. It is also involved in sexual interest, arousal, and enjoyment from sexual intimacy with a woman's partner. So who would be candidates for testosterone replacement therapy in women? Women with low levels of testosterone include women who have had their ovaries removed, women who are on certain medications that can lower the testosterone level, or women who have a low sex drive which is not caused by medication and is not associated with stress-related problems in the relationship. Also, women who are candidates for testosterone are women who have adrenal or pituitary gland a decrease in some of their functions that can result in low testosterone. Now, there are some women who should not use testosterone. Those include women who may or are planning to become pregnant, women with breast or uterine cancer, women with high cholesterol or heart disease, and women with severe liver disease. Now, how is the diagnosis of low testosterone made in women? Usually, it is based on a woman complaining of lack of sex desire. She complains that she just doesn't have any interest in being sexually intimate with her partner. Then the diagnosis is confirmed with a simple blood test, checking the testosterone level in the blood. Now, there are no long-term studies that have evaluated the long-term effects of using testosterone in women. I might also add that testosterone use in women is not FDA approved and we refer to it as off-label. Testosterone use greater than six months has not been studied. And we do not know whether testosterone raises the risk of breast cancer, heart disease, or clotting of blood uh, in the lower extremities or in the pelvis. The common side effects that occur usually when the dosage is too high is acne or oily skin, hair loss from the scalp, unwanted hair growth on the face and body, shrinking of the breast size, a deepening of the voice, Women can also have irregular menstrual cycles if they have been menstruating, or there can be a slight increase in size of the clitoris. There is no standard dose or blood test for women who have a decrease in libido or a lack of sex drive. The dosing adjustment is usually based on the woman's symptoms, and that is if a woman 
is on hormone uh, replacement therapy with testosterone and she does not note an improvement in her libido and sex drive, the doctor will often increase the dosage of testosterone. Now, how do women take testosterone? It's available in a patch. It's available in a topical gel applied to the arms or abdomen. And now there's a new pellet that can be placed underneath the skin and it will give a blood level lasting for four to six months. So in summary, low testosterone is a, plate, is a problem that is common for women just as low testosterone it can impact men. The diagnosis is easily made by a blood test and the treatment is easily accomplished in the right setting with women who are symptomatic and have a low testosterone level with testosterone replacement therapy. I hope you have found this video helpful and useful. You may have some additional questions and I would encourage you to go to my website www.neilbaum.com or you can give me a call at 504-891-8454. Thank you.